<laughs> yeah, I don't know.
leading try scorer in the comp coming into round five. Four tries to his name, the brother of Mason, who's starting at fullback for Rockhampton Grammar. This could be a big blow for Rockhampton Grammar, one of their prime performers. Cooper Broadhurst leaving the fields. And they're going to bring on to substitute for him. But everything at the moment is going the way of St. Brendan's. Two unanswered tries in the opening 14 minutes of play. Thank you so much for your company here on this wonderful evening in Rockhampton. My name is Martin Lippiet. And we're seeing a good old-fashioned battle. Third place, Rockhampton Grammar School on six competition points. Hosting first place, St. Brendan's College, who was also on six competition points. Both of these schools, the victory today will influence heavily the final four. And who plays who? 1v4, 2v3. Error from Rockhampton. They'll be frustrated with that one. And the progression for this, obviously, we have the Dolphin Challenge, followed by the Payne Cup and the Phil Hall Trophy. Then we move on to the national title as well once we decide and find out who is the best school within Queensland and also. Our neighbours south of the border. Here's Melrose. Up on. From Braylon Marsh. He's there in the wide headgear. Got some big praise from legend Scott Minto, the, the people's immortal. Said he's got one of the best passing games from dummy half at this level. Q Cup level. Was quoted to me saying earlier today. It's exciting to see him getting a lot of hands on balls. We see another good carry from Green. One of the players in the Confraternity Carnival's merit team about five or six weeks ago. There's a handling error from Jordan Cipher, who's in the team. Tonight, Lockie Anderson, another quality player. He's out, had appendicitis, had to get his appendix removed. So, big opportunity for Jordan Cipher. Claremont played one and two, starting played in rounds one and two, but big opportunity to get a start here in round five. Now, Rockhampton Grammar, leave it behind. Just can't catch a break. It's in Brendan's. They'll relish this opportunity. 12 metres out. All the tackles in the world. This is a dream scenario for St. Brendan's College. St. Brendan's this year at Confro, they went down in the shield. The final to St. Pat's College, Mackay, as they look at the points here on the right, and they'll be just short. Marsh, plenty of options, it'll fall back there for Yock. Melrose, Mahoney, he's met well by Hatley. comes from Blackwater State High School. Oh, out the back, the pass goes to no one. Was that a little knock on? It was. Will Lloyd loses it at his feet. First up pass coming from Marsh was not a good one. Look at the penalty here. And tackle without the ball. As players line up, it's given to Carter Ford, who's already working with the Dolphins, he's Carl Webb's young fella. Legend Carl Webb. As some Brendans 
Leave another pass behind with Jay Marsh scrambling for it. A young year tenor. He's usually a hooker, but he's filling in that centre position. Rockhampton Grammar, another penalty against them. Some Brendans. Reload, go again. Harry Hill. Good first carry. Green. Now they're coming across as Yock loses his feet on this dewy evening in Rockhampton. Mahoney. Melrose tips it on. Ford. Ford looking to go the long way round. Bats off the tackle from Rockhampton. Ford! Sent backwards. Rockhampton, they're barely holding on. Now another striking attack. Simon Green gets it done. Look at the speed Green's got coming in from the pocket here. Plenty of options for Marsh, but Green stands up, evades three defenders. And it's try time. Forson Brendan's take a healthy 16 point lead, 16 unanswered points in the opening 20 minutes of play. Old snap, that's hit the country, especially the eastern seaboard, and Rockhampton not immune to it. <laughs> now the kick from Melrose. Goes three from three. And St. Brendan's. They're in the lead, 18 points to nil. Let's drop down, it's about 17 degrees. Rockhampton at the moment. Almost still conditions tonight. Easterly winds have dropped off to near zero. So the boys, it's a pleasant set of conditions for them to be running around on this marvellous Tuesday night as Ford loses one. And Rockhampton Grammar, they will be excited with this opportunity Inside the 20, scrum to come. Rockhampton Grammar, their previous involvement with the Dolphin Cup last year, they finished in fifth, didn't win a game. The year before, they finished also in fifth, picked up one win from five games. And then in Confer this year, they finished third in a pool of death at the Cathedral College and finished first St. Patrick's College from Mackay was second in their pool so it was a very hard first couple of days and that's where you need to be the most successful if you want to have any chance of finishing in the higher ranking positions Pigeon little tip on pass I'd like the cut of Max Clark big heart big engine Always does the hard yards. Now a little sniping carry from Pigeon. And he stopped dead in his tracks. And St. Brendan's rally on the try line. Denman tips it on. Look at the feet from Carlos, the young year 11er. Now a little chip through and Rockhampton grabber. Get it done. 
Oliver Hicks is the man of the moment. Lots going on here for Rockhampton Grammar. Heads up stuff from Brody Pigeon. Year 12 has put it on a string. And that's a great finish for them. They're on the board. As we look to be about eight minutes from half time. Big conversion here for Callum Denman. Callum Denman curls it left to right on the home wicket. And the kid with an outstanding kicking game. Many 40-20s this season. He's also kicked his fair share of points off the tee. That's his seventh conversion in 2024. Now where's the restart? Kicks it easily down here for Rockhampton Grammar as they enlist the services. And Henry Kilquist, the skipper, tips it on over that left-hand side and there's life within this side. Joe Morrison on that left wing. It's a real move along. We carry here Oliver Hicks on the field in Jersey 18. One task of the head coach. Getting that bench active early. Here's not. The better players this year, he's very uncompromising, a hard runner of the ball. Denman works it out the back, Broadhurst straightens up, offloads it, back here for Carlos. Carlos is going, Carlos is looking for something. The St. Brendan's defence stop him centimetres short. Pigeon, one out for his skipper, Calquist. St. Brendan's, can they hold on? Now Rockhampton, Grandma failed to hold on to it. Denman loses it, and St. Brendan's, with an instantaneous run, move it 30 metres up the park. Good run by Marsh, as they look for Hines now. Rockhampton, Grandma trailing six points to 18. Four and a half minutes remain in the first half and a loose carry after a tipping tackle we live it here the second man in focus there on Hatley this is Brendan's moved the action back up into Rockhampton grab a territory. Another good carry from Harry Hill. He'll carry you over the hill if he has to. Rockhampton Grammar. They spent the majority of this half down this end of the field. Green, great pass for Otto. A tough competitor from Gladstone. On that left flank, Melrose straightens, looks to do it all himself. Lost it in the carry. So it'll be a fresh set for Rockhampton. Mason Broadhurst to play the ball. Lying up, Everingham. Iconic pink headgear. Sniping carry from Broadhurst. Nowhere to go. Denman. 
set backwards. Camden Grammar back on that left hand side. Good carry from Clark. A little chip over the top will be regathered by St. Brendan's. Great combination, tackle. Clark and Denman shutting down that first St. Brendan's carry. That's St. Brendan's who really started this game sprinting. 18 unanswered points, and then Rockhampton managed to get one back. Both sides showing a lot of ability as Brock Otto. Has another gripping carry. A little snipe for dummy half. It's Brendan's College, the recipient of another penalty here. Brody Pigeon coming up a little bit lame. Otto. Green sets it up. There's a wonderful spread of players. Melrose. Little pick and go! And it's on for St. Brendan's yet again. And Simon Green reacts instantly. Rockhampton leaving either side of the ruck so undefended. And he capitalizes. Twenty two points for St. Brendan's. And a brilliant first half. Tyler Melrose, three from three this evening. He puts this one over, it'll be a great opening 30 minutes for St. Brendan's College. Tyler Melrose. Strikes it well. And we'll head to half time. It is St. Brendan's in the lead over Rockhampton Grammar. 24 points to six. Stay with us, second half. Welcome back here to Rugby Park. It is round five. The Dolphin Challenge, part of the Greater Phil Hall Cup, which crowns the best Queensland side before later on in the year we see the matchup between best from the north of the border in Queensland, the best of the south. By New South Wales ACT Victoria Regions do battle for the national schools title, a wonderful initiative. If you're just joining us for the first time, good evening. My name is Martin Lippiot, and we have 30 more minutes left here in round five for these two sides before they head to semi finals next week. The victor from today will be riding high. Lots on the line to finish one and two because you'll be getting. The ability to play those lower to you. you get home field advantages with that too. As we see an impressive St. Brendan's College up 24 points to 6 over host Rockhampton Grammar. There's been some standout performances on both sides for St. Brendan's who are in the lead. Captain Harry Hill has been immense for them. We've seen some good showings from Carter Ford. Simon Green scored a very fantastic, spontaneous try from dummy half, catching Rocky Grammar sleeping. Coming back onto the field of play now. It'll be some Brendans in the green jerseys with yellow pants. Kicking off to Rockhampton Grammar in their red and black attire. It's going to be an interesting second half. 
Northampton Grammar. They just need more time with ball. They need to be at the right end of the field. It's been an uphill battle for them. First up, take there by Riley Sullivan, the school captain of Rockhampton Grammar School in jersey number nine. Always been a little kid, but he's been putting on some serious weight from gym time, and here he is, hanging with the big boys. Xavier Knott flies in for the second tackle. That's with the captain, Calquist, who signed up with the Titans. He'll be straight into a full-time gig with them, the completion of this year. Made for Capricornia and the state champs. Northampton Grammar. Keep it alive, offload. Carlos working hard on the fringes. Good tackle from Otto. Denman. Hits it high. Plenty of Rockhampton Grammar players around. And they'll regather it. There's something happening here. Broadhurst is away. He can't get it cleanly to Justin Sharples. It was all happening. That kick from Denman was brilliant. Look at the spread of players, four red jerseys, two green jerseys. We just needed to see a sooner pass here from Mason Broadhurst. And Sharples will be disappointed there. He had plenty of space and opportunity on that left wing, but it wasn't meant to be. Big set coming up for St. Brendan's. Twenty-four points in the first half, a great start. And Coach Scott Minto, the former NRL player, will be happy with that. They want to build. As they look to have a big campaign with the school. Dancing and weaving around, Braylon Marsh gets it away, but it's been taken by Rockhampton Grammar Hatley in the lead. Now a handling error at the ruck, and Rockhampton Grammar give this one away cheaply. lifts the tempo. This goes up the middle, but he'll lose the ball. There's Rockhampton Grammar to fire it up. Henry Calquist. Not. Hampton Grammar. their way up the paddock. Carlos swings it out the back. Morrison. Switch play here. Plenty going on for Rockhampton as they get closer. Whoa, a spontaneous kick there from Denman. Nearly lost it. Well, it's been handled. But it will be a turnover. Brendan's 30 metres away. Harry Hill to the cheers of the crowd. Takes the first hit. Now St. Brendan's coming across the park. The offload for Lloyd. Skew if, but he's held on to it. Some 
Brendan's here with Murphy. School since year seven. Now yeah, some good work from Braylon Marsh. Beats the first and second tackle. Cooper Broadhurst coming back looking for a bit of redemption. Gets his man. Green. Very high shot on him. Coming from Sullivan. Five minutes gone here in the second half. Just under, just over 26 left before full time. And St. Brendan's comfortably in the lead. 24 points to six over Rockhampton Grammar. As Hill spreads it out on the inside, over hard. Another penalty against Rockhampton Grammar. Hill for Green and now away for Overhard again. Lots of players stepping up as Hill has the snipe from Dummy Half. He's being harassed to the ground by Sullivan. More possession here for St. Brendan's. Zotto has a go at breaking the defence. Hill. So the way and St. Brendan's find their way over again. It's another try. And they're doing it in style. Look at the effort. So Brendan's getting it done. Another A plus try. As they breathe down the neck of the uprights, looking for another two points to notch up 30. It has been an impressive. Match for St. Brendan's, who are looking to really put a nice little conclusion on the regular season before moving into the final structure. Right in front, Melrose. Four from four, a hundred percent. Taking a moment here as our referee speaks to Henry Calquist. in front Tyler Melrose can't be stopped he's five from five so Camden Grammar enjoy very hard lesson here they're trailing by 24 points six points to 30 it's not the match they would have envisioned thus far they're going to have to Trying something a little bit different if they want to try and claw back some of this deficit.
So five tries to one. Tyler Melrose converts his own right at the end there. So Brendan's return to having possession. Hill at dummy half gives it to four. Four to Queensland Country 17's player. Now they play the territory game. Broadhurst, that's Mason Broadhurst. Charges up. So Brendan's defensive line, uncompromising. Ain't even caught off guard once tonight, and it led to points as Cooper Broadhurst. He's made it back onto the field of play. A good few touches. He needs to do something special for his side. Calquist. Denman. Takes a long kick. And he's scooped up by Yock. There's no problem. Biting off a good 15 metres. Cypher as well. Now Marsh tips it on for Dendal. He was tackled firmly by Knott. Brendan's finding leaders across the advantage line. Marsh gets it away as Brendan's kick it long. Mason Broadhurst with the response. Penalty by St. Brendan's will be welcomed by the home side. They'll take any advantage, any opportunity to move themselves down the field. And they'll get to start again right on halfway. Carlos. Is it here for Broadhurst, who offloads it to Sullivan. Denman. Calchus working hard. Oh, switch underneath, Godwin. Just holds on as he crosses the 40. Sullivan again at dummy half. At the time it was Cody. Calquist. All familiar faces getting involved early in the set to grab meters. There's another error from Rockhampton Grammar School. Sees them lose possession. Brendan's moving well up the middle, forward. Pulling a good couple of passes on the first carry. Valuable meters. Cooper Pierce. That's well, him and Clay Dendle on the field. Switch underneath. Oberhart. Good tackle from Godwin. Forward. Sucks up three defenders in that tackle alone.
Oh, and that's a great shot. Melrose goes high. Cool as a cucumber, Cooper Broadhurst. Claims the ball. Rockhampton Grammar, three quarters down in this game. Trailing by four converted tries. There's a lot of work to be done. Cooper Broadhurst has another great carry. Rocky Grammar, Only one try to speak of in that first half. And camp down this end as Callum Denman kicks it right into the breadbasket of Tyson Hines. Local boy who played in year 10 last year, Dolphins Challenge. Still so young. Good to see him up here. As Oberhart loses it in the tackle. Noah Cody puts left in front of right and terrorizes the St. Brendan's defensive line. 13 minutes left here in this final regular season fixture as Max Clark is grabbed around a scruff of his neck and shoulders and sat down essentially. Rocky Grammar moving up with Hatley. Plenty going on. Some Brendan, this will be their first real test in defence for the second half. Riley Sullivan at the back. He's disappointed. Oh, a Cody. Ran a great line and put them in a great position, but there's been so many penalties in and around that ruck today and turnovers of possession as well. They'll be bitterly disappointed. <laughs> so they've definitely had a few genuine opportunities at this end of the field, but have just lacked the punch to conclusively finish them off. Short side looking like a great place to start off a fresh set after a scrum. And Harvey Mahoney does exactly that. Jason Brendan's, they'll be playing with confidence. 24 points separates them and Rockhampton Grammar at the moment. Marsh. A little dart. They're onto him pretty quick. Yock. Mahoney switches for his skipper in Hill. Now Marsh from Dummy Hart cuts them to pieces. He's got foot on the inside. And the big prop is firing on all cylinders. Wow, what a try, and right here from halfway, look at the carry, look at the speed from Marsh, we knew he was good, but that good, I definitely did not, and then Carter Ford comes through like a big V8. 
And finishes off a superb carry. Aiden, Aiden Marsh and Jay Marsh, obviously sons of PJ. There are some great rugby league genes running through those bodies. And right now they are on display. St. Brendan's 34 points to six over Rockhampton Grammar School. Their highest score so far in this competition was in round one when they defeated some Shalom, 38 points to six. And with 10 minutes remaining, they're on an absolute tear this afternoon. This evening, I beg your pardon. As Tyler Melrose continues to enjoy a perfect game off the boot. Six from six. Well, Campton Grammar, they have not been able to conjure up an adequate defensive response for this side. To Brendan's, to their credit, they are scoring them from all over the park. Tried to mix it up with a contestable restart. The bounce was ugly. One of you, Harry Hill, who scoops it up. And now Jay Marsh gets in on the action as his brother plays the rack from behind. Ford, the most recent try scorer, crashes up to the 40. Left-hand side. So we need to get a bit of activity now. Oh, and that's a handling error. Harvey Mahoney's lost it. Well, Hamden Grammar with the ball. It'll be a fun run for the boys from St. Brendan's. The bus trip home. Celebrate a midweek win. Always fun. Wonderfully vocal crowd here tonight as well. That's what you love to see. There's Chase Everingham. For 17, he's a big, strong ball carrier. He's come up a bit lame. I might have to sub him off. Back underway here at Rugby Park. In St. Brendan's College in the lead by 28 points. Can Rockhampton Grammar grab a few back in the final six minutes? Sullivan, Denman. Double pump, gives it to Hatley, who gets it away again. And now Morrison straightens over the top of Cypher, who couldn't take him. Bit of niggle starting to pop up in the match. Sullivan gets it out. You see another fierce carry from Noah Cody. Right hand side, there's a little kick through from Carlos. Rockhampton grammar players are flying in, but St. Brendan's players are just a little bit quicker. Philip Yock, Kanamala boy, he's been a boarder since year seven. One of the fastest getting around. Eight on the wing for the Capra's 17s. In his favourite position, fullback tonight. Rockhampton Grammar. Getting it started with Jared Godwin. Sullivan goes over to the short side, finds Cody. 
And Cody gets there. Nonchalance and Brendan's have taken their foot off the gas here, but big Noah Cody beats the first, spins around. And it'll be Rockhampton with two tries on the board. 28 points. Is Widow down now? 24 and if we can see a conversion sail between the posts it'll drop it even further four minutes left both of these sides done enough to be in the final series but St Brendan's College have had some kind of a performance tonight as we see another successful conversion for Rockhampton Grammar they're trailing 10 12 points to 34. <laughs> So Rocky Grammar, three minutes left. Jared Godwin gets the second tackle. And that was a fearsome bit of contact. Ford and Green combining. Stop. Paul Carrier. From getting even a centimetre. Now Rockhampton Grammar want to put some distance on with this. Little bounce for York. He likes his space and he is very elusive. And the fullback has carried well. Here's Hines. Too many penalties for Rockhampton Grammar tonight. It's hamstrung. The match for them. Some Brendans have been exceptional in taking advantage of opportunities provided. Hill. Back he goes. Tap of the ball. And off goes the St. Brendan skipper. Marsh, and passing from Obaha. Marsh is going to keep looking over that left-hand side of the field as Jock comes up out of the line. Mahoney with some speed. Good read from Cooper Broadhurst, who's stuck in the ruck. And it'll be another set for St. Brendan. Tap and go from Mahoney. A wry smile on his face. Now he sends it out for York. Marsh. Flat. Green. He's brought down. Final 50 seconds. St. Brendan's. Can they get over once more for a regular season high score? But that ball will be lost. Kicked away, still with St. Brendan's. 30 seconds on the clock. Hill. Oh, straight into the grass. How is that from Hatley? But they're not done, our St. Brendan's. The switch play plays. Mahoney. Now it'll be the turnover. Seconds remain. A lead forged in the opening half. So large. Rockhampton Grammar have just been on the back foot for the entirety of this match. It's 
Going to be full time here in Rugby Park and it is St Brendan's who get the victory 34 to 12 over Rocky Grammar and concludes the regular season. Both sides heading through to finals and we look forward to seeing them in action over the coming weeks. Thank you so much for your company.